I'm extremely pleased with the decision that we made those many years ago to develop an ambitious plan to refurbish Memorial Stadium and to preserve this important and cherished landmark. When I became Chancellor eight years ago, Memorial Stadium was high on our list of priorities, needing a major seismic upgrading and refurbishing and updating of facilities. There is no place like Memorial Stadium to play a football game. Someone talked about uh, the beauty and the environment here and, and the atmosphere. There's nothing like it. We've gone from having arguably, and no one here would argue it, arguably the worst facilities in Division I to certainly amongst the best. When Memorial Stadium opens to 62,000 fans next Saturday, I believe that everyone will be pleased. In fact, I might go as, so far as to say odd with the result. It will see an amazing modernization that preserves and enhances the beauty of this 1923 historic structure. The one thing I am a little disappointed with is we had to change the visitor locker room. Uh, I think <laughs> they talked earlier about uh, the worst facility in the country. That was absolutely the worst visiting locker room in the country. We were able to build the stadium without reliance on public funds, thanks in part to wonderful alums such as Doug and Lisa Goldman, who are loyal and generous supporters, both to our academic and athletic programs, and who contributed $10 million to this project. We are uh, fully committed to ensure that the financing of these wonderful facilities will be fully met uh, from the revenues generated by the athletic uh, endeavors of Berkeley. Intercollegiate Athletic is an integral part of Berkeley, without which we would not be the vibrant campus that we are. But while our football program has gone from subpar to excellent, many of our other programs have gone from nothing to outstanding. The Simpson Center built adjacent to the stadium and carefully designed to sit below it now provides 450 students with appropriate training and coaching facilities as well as sport medicine and academic facilities. Within the stadium, we will be completing in the next year a 200 seat classroom that can be used for general classes. I think it's important to recognize that these two projects will be used by the entire campus, not just intercollegiate athletics. The plaza will be open daily for the campus to use and we expect it to be a popular site for students to enjoy the sun and gather. Our seismically retrofitted and renovated Memorial Stadium will provide us this opportunity to appropriately entertain not only our guests on football Saturdays, but our ESP club structure and our modernized press box will enable us to provide a seven day a week entertain entertainment experience for our community in one of the most beautiful settings in the Bay Area. The view ah, the view. Geotechnical experts dug trenches to make sure we knew exactly where the Hayward Fault lie. Ultimately, engineers designed a plan to build the west side of the stadium as three separate structures. The press box is a fourth structure that sits on top of the west side. From inside the bowl, you can't tell that it isn't all one building. Each section is designed to move separately in an earthquake. The north and south end zone fault blocks sit on plastic sheets that will allow them to slide separately with the earth with the ability to move up to six feet of movement with, not, with no impact on the remainder of the stadium. And, and now when, when I walk down, I look up and I, I see the lights, uh, you know, it looks like a spaceship and it's just, it's phenomenal looking. And to go inside, I think people are going to be amazed. Uh, but there's nothing like being home. There's nothing like our players walking through the North Tunnel. The pride and tradition that goes along with that, you just can't explain. We have a beautifully refurbished stadium in which to continue to build memories for new generations of Cal fans. Go Bears!